Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about the barrel knot. Uh, the barrel knot's a very useful knot. You can use it as a stopper knot. I also use it on, on most of my lanyards uh, for sliding up and down, for adjusting things. Um, I put them on my neck knives for decoration, you know, things like that. Different colors work real good. Um, the other thing they're good for is for like a, you can use them like on a necklace or like a lanyard type thing. You can make it adjustable so you can, you can slide it back and forth to, to change the length of it. Or what it's really good for, and most people don't know this, it makes a wonderful bend. Like you're tying the fisherman's bend, instead of, instead of putting a simple overhand knot on each side, you tie a nice barrel knot on each side and it's perfectly, perfectly strong. <laughs> I got a mess of puppies in the background, I don't know if you can hear them. We have uh, four dogs and three of them had puppies all in uh, one day. So we've got a, a pack and a half of puppies. Um, to tie the barrel knot, I'll just I'll tie it on a on a bigger piece of rope to show you first. And let's just say let's just say this is a lanyard. And I like to tie it with my finger or with a pencil or something. It makes it so much easier. So you would make sure you get a nice nice long tag there, and then put your finger out, wrap around it. Wrap around it, cross it one time, and go go four four or five loops is great. Four, and then all you do is just slide your end right through the the loops you just made, and then slowly tighten them up together, trying to keep me even, and pull that real tight. And then what you do, what you do is you would cut here and cut here and then just burn them, burn the ends in and then you have a real nice slide on it um, and once you once you tie it tight it, it is just about impossible to untie that's why I left this one kind of loose um, what I was talking about before about a bend let's say we have uh, these two ends right here we want to connect okay you're going to want to make sure you have a nice long a nice long tag here same thing though just put your finger out wrap it around one a little longer one two three four even five if you can get it would be great slide it off slide your your end right through the loops snug them up Trying to keep your your knot flat like that. Okay, now for the other one, turn it over and do the same thing on this side with the other one, just like that. Nice, nice loops around your finger. Best if you go the same number. We'll just we'll be short one here. It's fine. Slider through. Snug them both up, just like that, and then pull your knots together just like you would on a fisherman's bend. And that that knot there is not going anywhere, I guarantee you. And it works very good with fishing line or paracord or whatever kind of cord. It doesn't work doesn't work very good on anything over a quarter inch around like nylon rope and stuff it's pretty tough to get a nice tight knot with that and you're gonna use a bigger rope like that then you would use the zeppelin bend or something like that to connect ropes um, the barrel knot also makes a nice stopper knot you can also use your finger to wrap around if you want or a pencil works even better because it's smaller so if you're working with paracord or you can use something as simple as a, a big pen and cut it in half and wrap around that then you can just slide your your cord right through the the tube which makes it really easy um, I'll just use something like here's a, a antler fid 
for a stop around here, just wrap around a little bit longer. Two, three, four. Let's go with four here. And then just slide it out. And then just take your your paracord and run right back through your loops, making sure you get that end loop. And then when you tighten up, make sure you, you try to keep it flat so it doesn't get all tangled up. And that, that makes a dandy stopper knot. So then again, what you would do is, what I would do is I would just take my scissors and cut it off about a, a quarter inch. And I kinda, I'm kind of getting to where I like to take a little bit of the center cord out. That way that I don't get a big white blob there. And then I just heat it up until it's on fire good. And take my my tool for flattening down, flatten it down all real nice and round and smooth. You get a real nice edge on it. And then on the other end, I'll, I'll do the same thing. Make a, you gotta over, make sure you overlap. Four. Go right back through your, your tube. Tighten her down nice. Trying to keep your, your knot nice and straight. That one's not too good. It's not good. You quick untie it. It's easy to get the, ta the strings tangled up and uh, you want, want them to, to look, I would say, symmetrical if you can, both ends. Try it again here. One, one, two, three, four. Overlap. One, two, three, four. Kind of hold it tight so it doesn't have a chance to slip out. Slide your piece through. And then slowly tighten it up so you keep it even. There you go, that's a good one there. Okay, pull it snug. Cut your end off. Take some of the center cord out. What you also might have noticed too, is this paracord, the center of this paracord is junk. This is the, this is the paracord from Home Depot. Burn it up. Flatten her down nice and even all the way around. When you use something metal too, it also makes a nice polished end on it. Okay, so now I have a a cord with two stopper knots, and you say, well, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do with that? So what I would do is to make it look kind of cool, I make this something like this for my daughter. Now what I'll do is I put a stopper knot on the cord, so I can make the make so I can make the lanyard adjustable. And again, again, I just like to use something like this. So we're gonna go around one, two, three, four. Slide it out. Go back through the hole. Again. Just like that. Trying to keep it nice and even, pull on each end. Just like that. And if you make it real tight, then it'll slide harder. And just cut off your here. Cut off this end here. Make sure you cut off the right piece. Or it'll ruin your lanyard, which I've done before. Slide her back a little bit. And when you burn this one, you want to make sure you pull these lanyard cords out of the way.
and when you melt her down there, you melt her down away from your away from your cords. That way, they'll still slide nice. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. These cord, the center cords here. Pull these out of the way. that way a little bit make it real nice and then what I do right away right away is I make sure I slide it so it doesn't get bonded to the cord so right there you have a real nice adjustable lanyard and you want to put it on something uh, put it on something like this say this compass here I picked up a real cheap compass uh, see it's kind of junky but it works though this is something for my, my daughter's eight years old so she has her own kit and then all you would do is put this through here and uh, put a cow hitch on it very very simple um, this cord from Home Depot you look at it, it doesn't have the the seven strands it has a bunch of fine uh, cords on it inside of it it's still okay it's, it works good it works good for the uh, uh, necklaces and stuff like that and bracelets you know like there's there's a, a cheap bracelet there that I made um, this is from uh, some cord that I found in here in the Philippines it's real thin compared to regular try 450 paracord or something like that and I don't know if you guys notice the paracord donuts this is the way I like to store my paracord if possible or in a in a fast rope seems to be the best thing for me well that's about all I have for you right now the barrel knot makes a dandy stopper knot makes a real nice slide for a lanyard and makes a fantastic uh, replacement for a, a fisherman's bend instead of using just a, a plain simple overhand knot that is beyond strong so that's all I have for you now